Hey everyone, what's happening? Lex back today for another Brawl Stars video, and today we are going to be going over the three brand new star powers that are coming into the game very soon. Then we're going to be playing some duo showdown with a very, very special guest right after I show you guys these new star powers. But before we hop into the comparison of the star powers, let me tell you about our sponsor today who is going to help you up your Brawl Stars game. Now we all know that the best way to play Brawl Stars is to voice chat with your friends. You can communicate during a match, optimize your team comps, and just hang out and have fun. But what if you don't have any friends or just none of them are around right now? Well, our sponsor today, Rune, has just the solution for you. You see, Rune uses a smart matchmaking algorithm to match you with other players who are around your trophy level. It's a really simple way to play with other gamers right now who speak your language. It doesn't matter if it's English, Spanish, German, you know what, you name it, there's somebody out there right now waiting to play with you. It may even be me. That's right, just ask Knight here. We hung out, chatted, and rocked it out in some duos action through Rune. Do you want to get a chance to play and voice chat with me as well using Rune? Well, download Rune right now from the description or the pinned comment and start playing. Then stay tuned to my community page because I'm going to be posting some details there about how you can play with me. We can voice chat, play some Brawl Stars, have a good time, but you need to download Rune and you need to start playing right now. Big thanks to Rune for sponsoring this video and helping to support my channel. Looking forward to playing with you guys. Okay, so check it out. The first star power that we got is Magnum Special. Now, as you can see here, Colt's range and his damage have been increased by 11%. This star power will increase his range by almost a full tile, which is pretty impressive. So range-wise, Colt is going to be pretty darn close to almost to Piper's range, which is really insane considering the amount of damage that Colt can put out. I'll give you guys my full thoughts on every single star power after these comparisons while I'm playing, but... I think that this one is going to be a very good one. Now the next star power is Rosa. She's getting a star power called Thorny Gloves. Now this adds 200 extra damage to every single shot while her super is active. Only while it's active. So that brings her up from 644 to 844 damage per punch while her super is going on. Now Rosa's already really strong and this one is going to be a very viable choice but I think it's going to be more map dependent than some of the other ones. If it has lots of bushes then you're probably going to want the original star power if it's more open without as much grass, this one is going to be definitely the way to go. In fact, according to Kairos, which thank you very much for some of these stats, KT, with the added damage, the only brawlers that will be able to survive Rosa during her super are at Frank and El Primo. And the last one we got here is Rico's Robo Retreat. Now this is a very interesting star power. Whenever he falls below 40% health, he gains an additional 34% speed to his run. How fast is that? Well, as you can see, this is a side-by-side -side comparison of Leon while he's invisible and Rico running the length of the training cave. It's a pretty impressive speed boost. It actually makes him faster than Crow's normal movement speed. That's really ridiculous. However, here's the trade-off is that you don't get the extra damage from Rico's and... If he's that low of health, how often are you going to stay at that low of health to really get the benefit from this? So my first gut instinct is pass on this one from Rico's. Buy one of the other two if you're looking to get them and pass on Rico's. Maybe you'll get it out of a box, but don't spend your hard-earned coins on this star power. Now that you guys know about all the new star powers coming into the game this week, be sure to stay tuned for next week because there's going to be even more new star powers every single week, so should be sure... So be sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I'll let you guys know of all those changes. But now, let's hop into some games with our very special guest. All right, so as I told you guys, we were going to bring on a very special guest halfway through this video. And I looked long and hard, and I finally tracked him down. Your favorite British actor, Tom Holland, Spider-Man. <laughs> Hello, mate. How's it going? Lex, you all right? <laughs> Wait, you're not... You know, you are small, white, and British, so I guess it works, so whatever. Yeah, it'll pass, yeah. <laughs> so, Ark, buddy, if you guys don't know who Ark is, you guys, go check him out. His channel is in the description down below. Um, what do you think of these new star powers? Let's, you know what, let's take it one by one. Yeah. What do you think of Rico's new star power? I think it's actually not bad. I don't know whether it's going to be maybe as strong as his current star power, um, but I do like the idea of being able to retreat kind of like when you're under pressure. I think that's where it's going to come into play uh, a lot, actually. Right. Um, what I think about it is that basically it's never going to hardly get used because how mm. often will you be um, there's somebody right to our right? Yeah. Oh, and he's got oh, to go back across. Oh, gosh. No. Oh, run away, Ooh, Lex. Get out of here. You realize that? I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> um, so I don't think you'll ever really be able to use it because how often are you going to stay at like, you know, 1300 health point hit points? Yeah, this is the thing. I think it's like 
I don't think it's going to be as good as this current star power, and that's the thing. Like, and uh, you know, you're going to ask yourself too. Like, uh, are Supercell looking to kind of like eventually? How are they going to balance these all together? Are they going to like buff the, the the old star powers, and if they're like not quite strong enough, or are they going to nerf the the new ones? That'll be interesting to see, actually. I I think it's a, like a ridiculously hard. I mean, I, I love that they've got the second star powers, but think of the task that yeah. it must be to balance all of these things. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. Whoever's balancing them has um, got a oh, we've got some to the left. They've got a big task on their hands, and that's the thing for me is it's like it's gonna be really interesting to see how that process goes. And uh, yeah, I mean, with regards to Rico, I love Rico. I think he's actually very underrated right now in the meta. I know Carlos did a video saying that he was really difficult to uh, to play and <laughs> he was struggling, but uh, I actually really love Rico. I think, yes, the, the 3D map changes did kind of like indirectly nerf him, but um, mm -hmm. it'd be interesting to see how this new star power kind of plays out and whether it kind of is uh, stronger than his current one. Um, but I think it'll be a very good defense mechanic, you know, uh, at the very least. Yeah, I mean, I, c I could see you using it to like, oh crap, get away. But in terms of actually choosing it, I don't, I don't see a reason why I would ever choose that over his original one. Just, well, just yeah, me, this but. is the question. Like, I, I keep asking myself with every introduction of a new star power is, do I prefer this over the current one? And would I choose this over the current one? And with this particular one, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether I would choose it over his current one. Yeah. Now, the other one that I think will get definitely get some play is uh, Rosa's, you know, so Ooh. she just does extra damage um, every time she has her super active. She does, does a lot more damage. I feel like um, Rosa that Ooh. one, it, she's already really strong. So it's like, um, I could see that one being very strong. You know, I'm just show running me, from show these me. guys. Screw it, screw it. I'm going to go in for this Jesse over here. All right, Le Leroy <laughs> yeah, Jenkins, let's do it. Oh, oh, this is it. I can get it. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, 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 oh. I got the Jesse Week button in the shop. Yeah, um, this is the thing. Rosa actually has like a, a really good amount of star power capability, actually. I think more so than most mm -hmm. of the other brawlers uh in the game, I think. She has like a, just a really nice Oh, I'm actually gonna die there, wow. Oh, oh no sure pressure, Lex, no oh, pressure. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, you know. You got this. It's all good. You got this. Um can I wait? Can I make it until you um get in? Is the question. Uh, four they're, seconds, they're yeah, pretty seconds. Yeah, you can. You can, you good, you're good. Okay, okay, I'm gonna jump in and you're gonna come in live with me. No, no, no. Go for the cult, go for the cult. Okay, okay, I'll keep him low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't heal up. Oh, this is beautiful, Lex. Oh, this is beautiful, Lex. Oh, Okay, finish him off, over! Get him! Yes. But yeah, I think Rose is definitely gonna get some play. I think it's gonna be definitely more map dependent. On the maps that you have a lot more bushes, then it's definitely gonna work out uh, better to use her original one and the maps that have you know not as much grass it's going to be better just to take the straight up damage yeah exactly that i think that rose is going to now be sort of potentially viable in maps where there are less bushes um and in the maps that there are bushes she's she's still going to be just as strong as she is currently so. i mean she she's still already really strong and i think this gives her two very viable star powers now yeah the last one colt this one I think is probably of the three the the one that's like okay this could go either way because an 11 percent range and speed buff on his shots range buffs are huge as you know um but the speed that he gets from his original star power is also exceedingly helpful you know for dodging shots and getting around so this one i could see going either way yeah this one surprised me actually because uh 11 doesn't sound like much um but actually um it is like and you realize that when you try it uh, for yourself like it, it does feel a lot uh, thank you for the support. It does feel like a lot yep. when you play him. On paper, maybe not so much. But um, I think it's going to surprise a lot of people. Like, that 11% actually goes a long, long way. And I would actually, uh, probably more than often than not, uh, choose to play the star power over his current one. That was kind of close there. I survived that. Good. Yeah, it was. I, I, I was <laughs> clenching up there. My, my butt cheeks clenched on that one. You're or... playing me on sh with Showdown? Really? You know that I'm too aggressive for this. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm, I'm trash at Showdown as well. Um, I, like, hardly ever play. Although I do like... Um, uh, duos. Yeah, yeah, so, exactly. I just, I just I, don't play solo showdown. Oh, we got the pitch in. Oh my gosh, no. Oh yes, and the baby's stuck. Oh, yes, we can jump. We can jump. Uh, uh, I should know. I go for it? Uh, just one. I don't know if it's worth my super. It is. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. 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 I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> just because you told me to. Art. I mean, Cole as his current star power definitely is noticeable when you don't use it for sure. Shelly, right Shelly. Yeah, Shelly. yeah. But I've got a ball now, so I'm gonna go for this in here and get two and run away. Um, yeah, cold star power currently is the kind of star power that until you don't have it, you don't realize how good it is. Um, so mm -hmm. 
It's going to be a hard choice between the two. I'm just going to go in so ham here. And lose all our, our, our good work. So it's all on you now. Let's oh, the pressure. I thought you were dead. <laughs> I, th I, thought, I thought you had him. And so I was following right behind you. No, I'm like, oh, he's I going thought... in for it. He's obviously got it. So I'm just going to follow. <laughs> oh, look, they both have 10 and we're dead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's, get, let's get one more game yeah, in here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, which do you think is uh, kind of like the, the, the best out of the three? Do you think Cole? I mean, so the the one that I would say, if you are looking to spend some of your hard earned hard earned Hi coins point. on star powers, don't buy Ricos. I just don't think it's going to be that useful for most people. It's just uh, his other, his original star power is way better in my opinion. Yeah. Rosas I think is definitely worth it. It just depends, but I think Colt is the one that I'm the most looking forward to personally. That's you can, you can ask yourself like I think when it comes to star powers, um, how often are you gonna get it? Like uh, how often is it gonna double be kind Piper? Of yeah, I just saw that too. I was, That's toxic. I was so well man. aware of that. <laughs> I mean, Colt's current star power is the star power which is like always active, and I think that comes into play. Pyro's everywhere, Lex. Jeez, watch out. Jeez, um, <laughs> man. This is like, not good for me. Uh, okay. Yeah, a star power, um, you want to get the most out of it. So when it's like always active, you, you know you're going to kind of get your value out of that. Um, I think with Rico's, it's only active when you're kind of oh. at your lowest. I'm just going to go in. I don't care. I'm going in. I'm going yeah, in. Dude, I'm going to go in. I, I, I need... I need it anyways. I'm so low on health. Yeah, and it's like, um, yeah, with, with Ricos, it's when you're low and, okay. you know, bull star power arguably is not maybe the most uh, uh, viable currently in like the meta. It's kind of similar to that, but on a, a different scale, right? Right. I'm sorry. I was not listening to anything you said <laughs> because there's a piper and a barley coming after me, oh, and they no. just hit me. So I need to. I've everywhere. got my super. I can. I can. I don't know if the piper has her super or not. That was a barley there as well. We were pinched big time here. Oh, I was tanked. I'm just going for it, dude. Okay. Yolo. Okay. Oh, I'm really weak now. I've. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Oh. I'm, oh, I'm dead. Uh, try. We're dead! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, like it's okay. Pipers. What's going on? <laughs> wait, wait, did we, did we end up like about the same? Oh, you know, we actually gained trophies, Ark. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this chat here with Tom Holland. Um, <laughs> you guys let me know in the comments down below, which of these three star powers are you most excited for? Ark, thank you so much for joining me. You guys definitely go check him out. Anytime, bro. As always, thank you so much for having me on the channel. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to try out these star powers, man. Absolutely. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.